just love the moments. I love the pressure. I love playing basketball at the highest level. Uh, our careers, you know, we're not singers, we're not actors. We can't do this till our elder years. So while we're doing it, you just got to appreciate every single night. Game six, Clay and Steph Curry were finally able to put the young Grizzlies to sleep down the stretch Friday night, the end of the series. Contributions up and down the roster and coaching staff, which is where former Warriors center Zaza Pachulia wanted to begin. Let's talk about Mike a little bit, man. Like, you know, what a week for him, right? So it's just announcement of him getting a new job and joining Sacramento Kings, becoming a head coach. Uh, and so much going on with him. And then same time, you know, last second, hearing this, you know, news that, you know, Steve got COVID and not being able to coach. And Mike, he did <laughs> You're the next, like, you know, the, the ghetto W, right? So what a week for Mike, but I think he handled it really, really well and got us to the conference finals. And, you know, talk about Steve. First of all, knowing Steve, probably he was the most miserable person in the world, you know, to be sitting at home and watching his team, um, uh, you know, on TV. You know, we definitely miss, miss him and uh, we miss his presence. We miss his uh, uh, leadership and just, you know, I'm glad that uh, it didn't last too long for him to be out. Big man on big man, Kavon Looney, 22 rebounds in a game, 22. Wow. He was phenomenal. He was phenomenal. Uh, and I mean that especially as a big man, I understand, you know, sometimes you not, not sometimes, actually a lot of times you don't get as much credit as, as you deserve uh, because they, you're doing so many things that doesn't show in the stats. He's been very professional, and uh, we're so glad to have him, to be honest. And, and he was a difference maker, in my opinion, the game six. And we're going to need him even more uh, moving forward. Curry has to pull. Can't hit. Rudy, another board. He's got 20 touches and puts it in. And that might be the dagger. What do you say about game six, Clay, who found it big time? I think he owns the game six. And uh, he's been uh, showing the improve, I mean, showing us every single time he has this opportunity. I don't know if the Memphis knew about it and have been following his his uh, history before with the game six, but he owns it. So like for for the you know rest of the NBA, like if it's a game six against Golden State Warriors, watch out for Clay Thompson. Last one for me. What do you say about Steph Curry? 13 years after he leaves Davidson finally gets his college degree, worked on it, and finally got it. You know, Steph has been inspiring so many people all, all over the world. Even though you might think about Steph Curry achieved everything, right? He won the championships, he won the MVP trophies, and, you know, he changed the game and, you know, broke the records, right, and made so much money in his career. And what else he can do? No, he, he has a lot to do and, you know, continue inspiring because this world needs people like Steph Curry and I'm so proud of him. Pretty good comments Zaza. I really appreciate you taking the few minutes to share with us and hey the bottom line is hey the Warriors are in there in the Western Conference Finals and we will see you down the road. Thanks for having me.